Living near Atlanta is great because so many productions are filmed practically right in my backyard. The Walking Dead, my favorite show, Rectify, and Joyful Noise. This is the location for the church. I'm not sure which scenes it was used for, but the house up there behind me was a location as well. Maybe we should go online and take the virtual tour. From here to the moon and back. And here's where the food fight scene was filmed. Probably wouldn't be a good idea to start a food fight in here, right? Down there is the Atlanta Civic Center where we shot the choir competition scenes. I say we because I was an extra in the scene. Call time was 5 o'clock in the morning and we weren't released until 10 o'clock that night. So I spent all day listening to those songs. Were you really in joyful noise? Yes. The proof is in the paycheck. Were you really a joyful noise? Yes. You can see me if you know just where to look. Here. And here, right beside Dollar's elbow. Couple other places, too. And check out the poster. Yeah, right there. Looks like me, doesn't it? for her. Not too long ago, I said I'd do anything for her, except sing. But that was then, and this is now. Now, love is the whole bakery. Then, infatuation was the stripper in the cake. Sooner or later, we grow tired of pasties and licking frosting off our fingers. So today, her grandmother's china plates are stacked in my cupboard. Our toothbrush is touch in the bathroom. Two packs a day for a few weeks and I am ready. Voice so big, grit and cinders. The paint goes wet and the hardwood floors buckle when I crack the Dolly, Linda and Emmy Lou version of Rosewood Casket. Fleas from the previous tenant leap from the chips in the floorboards. Neighbors come out looking around. My grandmother always said, A joyful noise, clear and loud. Which was half-baked advice for a no-audience kind of guy like me, who cringed under the whole bakery voice my grandmother saved purely for Sacred Heart and Father Goodhead, but who now lets his own fly like buckshot tearing apart his sheer curtains. I can close my eyes, and I hear grandma now, Shrill like metalworking, on tiptoes for the high note, her clinic dust mustache, gray as leaf pile smoke, above a grove of bare sweet gums. When a song ends in an empty room, the unsung overture is, I love you, please. Were you really in joyful noise? Yes. I wasn't nominated for an Oscar or anything, and I probably won't get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for it. But, at least I can say, I've been in a movie with Dolly Parton. 